guys, episode two. We're out at uh, one of the islands looking at another ecosystem. This ecosystem is about coastal landforms and islands. Think of your islands, your beaches, your shores, your estuaries. Uh, that's your coastal ecosystem. Now think about your abiotic factors. So abiotic is your non-living. Talking about your wind, your temperature, your humidity, your tides, your currents, your rips. Um, they're your abiotic, then you've got your biotic, which is all your sea creatures, your birds, um, your plankton, your whales, snakes, they're your bi biotic. Something that's really good about Dampier and, and the Dampier archipelago are the tides. The tides up here are big tides. Uh, we have two incoming tides and two outgoing tides a day, two and two. Uh, and they can vary meters, five, six, seven meters some days. Uh, and that, that's all dependent on the sun and the moon, and the gravitational pull and the position of the earth. Now something that's really interesting um, up here is when the tides come and go, um, the fish move around a lot. If you're a keen fisherman, you know your stuff, you know where the fish group, and you also know when to fish on the incoming, the outgoing, the high, an hour either side, etc. Uh, because that tide brings in food and, and, and nutrients and algae and, and all that for the fish to, to, to eat on. Other thing that is good is the Lewin Current. The Lewin Current runs all the way down the coast, sort of around Exmouth, um, a little bit higher up, all the way down to the southwest for about 50 k's out, 200 meters deep. And that warm water also brings a whole lot of nutrients, algae, um, eggs, larvae that fish can eat and things like that. And that is really good for the sea life here. That's the Lewin Current. Just quickly, I just found rope and zip tie. Uh, 